from CBS 17 News. If you want to work in many hospitals in the Triangle, you'll have to get vaccinated first. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Glad you could join us tonight. Today, the North Carolina Healthcare Association made an announcement that it supports requiring vaccinations for healthcare workers, and that uh, led to a flurry of revisions for hospitals in the area. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live tonight with more on why this is happening now and not months ago. Yeah, Duke Health is now part of that list requiring employees get the COVID-19 vaccine. The vice president here tells me the main reason is the Delta variant, and that's because over the past few weeks they've seen hospitalizations double and an increase in cases among employees. Duke Health is the largest employer here in Durham, so this is going to impact a lot of people. Out of the 11,000 employees here at Duke Hospital, 77% have voluntarily taken the vaccine. And those who haven't will now have until September 21st to show proof that they've been fully vaccinated. That includes everyone who works here, everyone from doctors, nurses, janitors, food service workers, and parking garage attendants. Healthcare workers for quite some time have had uh, expectations around uh, things they do to keep their patients safe. It's part of our calling in healthcare. So there have been requirements for vaccinations in healthcare for quite some time. This is just now a new requirement for a new vaccine because we're faced with uh, a new challenge with COVID. And along with Duke, UNC Health, Atrium Health, Cone Health, Wake Forest Baptist, and Novant Health are also now requiring employees to get the vaccine. Back here at Duke, if employees don't meet that September 21st deadline, I'm told that they will get a written warning and then pay, uh, face possible termination. There will be some exceptions. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6. Live in Durham, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. All right, Mac, thanks so much.